For the first time ever in Minnesota, liquor stores opened their doors on business on Sunday. Reporter Mal Meyer joined many exciting customers as they went to drop by to get in on the historic event. Customers started rolling into the parking lot well before opening. After 16 years in the biz, I've seen a lot of openings and even a holiday. This has been this has been awesome. Aaron Rickles is in town visiting family, but also knew about this occasion. Well, I have to go. It's a historic occasion, so we headed over, getting some, some booze for the, the fourth. It's for that exact reason that people are looking forward to getting rid of the pain of planning. I always had to plan on Saturdays to plan for the weekend and whatever kind of events happened on Sundays. Down at Northern Liquor, they're seeing a pretty steady stream of traffic in the store instead of people headed out of town. It's kind of nice being able not having to drive back to North Dakota or driving over to Wisconsin to get it. All the more reason for local customers like Brandon Huey to swing by. Now that it is available, I wanted to promote it and stop by and promote a local business. It's something that Erica Lopez has seen a lot of over the last hour. The novelty of it all is certainly a selling point. Customers are kind of coming in just because they can. They, they're excited, they're like, oh, I can buy alcohol on Sunday now. In Bemidji area, stores aren't the only ones who are having a successful first Sunday. Down in Baxter, CashWise employees have been running around helping out countless customers. I didn't anticipate it being quite this good, and we had lines as soon as we opened the door. Now, many business owners are looking forward to the future and anxious to see how long this lasts. Whether that continues throughout, I'm not real sure, but uh, it's been a really, really good day. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. By law, liquor stores will only be allowed to be open from 11 a.m. to 6 at the latest, but individual stores can set their own times within those parameters. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.